Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin, and we're back once again with one of my favorite things, the Mr. Project. This is an FPGA-based computer that can very accurately replicate a number of classic computers, game consoles, and arcade cabinets from the 80s and 90s, including things like the Sega Genesis and the TurboGrafx-16, the Super Nintendo, a bunch of arcade games you've probably seen at your favorite arcades back in the day, along with many computers like the Commodore 64, the Amiga, the Atari ST, the Apple II. It just keeps going on and on, and they keep adding things to it week after week. It's been one of my favorite things to play with, and I'm excited to keep playing with it today because we're going to be exploring the new Neo Geo Core. And to do that, we're going to be upgrading the RAM on my Mr. here from 32 megabytes to a whopping 128 megabytes to accommodate some of the larger games. So we're going to run a few Neo Geo games at 32 megabytes, and then we'll pop in the larger stick here and hopefully play some of the larger ones in a second. Now, I do want to let you know in the interest of full disclosure that I paid for the Mr. here with my own funds, all the different components on it. All of the opinions you're about to hear are my own. Nobody is paying for this review, nor has anyone reviewed or approved what you're about to see before it was uploaded. And we've done a lot of content on this already, and if you are unfamiliar with the Mr., uh, my suggestion would be to go and watch the uh, panel discussion I did with Bob from Retro RGB. Uh, that one we just posted about two weeks ago. We talk about the FPGA technology in general and then look at the Mr. specifically and all the things you need to get to make one work. So that might be a good way to get an intro here. Then you can pick this video back up to see some of the things we can do with Neo Geo on this device. So let's get it going now and see what it's capable of doing. All right, so we've got our Mr. now loaded up, and you'll see we have a little memory icon up here that looks partially filled up, and that is because I'm still just running with the 32 megabyte RAM module. But the Neo Geo Core is a little more forgiving than you might think, uh, so there are a bunch of games that will work inside of that 32 megabyte memory. So we're going to load up the uh, Neo Geo Core here real quick, and I'm just going to load Baseball Stars 2, and this one can operate just fine within that limited amount of RAM. So there are a bunch of games that are supported with 32 megabytes, but many more uh, will require more RAM. And most of them will load up and play, but you'll get a lot of graphics corruption and whatnot with them. Uh, but you can see here, this one is running just fine. The sound is great. Everything appears to be working quite well. I'm gonna see if I can get the guy to hit the ball here so you can get a sense as to uh, some scrolling and other things going on. So a very good experience here. Uh, with the Neo Geo Core, they've done some really tremendous work here in the community uh, to get this working. So now we're going to take a look at a game that requires more memory. Uh, Metal Slug 3 requires about 96 megs of RAM. We only have 32 right now until we upgrade. And when I load up the game here, you're going to see we have um, initially an okay experience here. We've got the logo starting up here with our Giga Power. Uh, but when the game uh, comes in, you'll see the graphics are corrupted. It just doesn't have enough RAM to store everything that this game requires. Uh, so what we're going to do now is uh, get that RAM module installed, and we'll see if this Metal Slug 3 game will run better on that. All right, so I've taken out the old 32 megabyte adapter, and we're going to put in the new 128 meg one. Of course, you want to make sure your mister is shut down and unplugged, and you also have yourself grounded properly. Uh, the good thing here on mine is that it tells you which side faces outward. Uh, so we're going to align that with the pins here. Let me get my hand out of the way so you can see what we're doing. And we're just going to push it down into place. And that is it for the installation. So I'm going to plug it back in again. And hopefully when we apply power, uh, we won't see any issues here with things not working properly or blowing up on us. Uh, so we'll let that boot up here. And when I get a video signal, that's a normal thing, by the way, on Mist. Uh, the Mister. Uh, you can see now the Mister is loaded up, and look, that RAM uh, icon is now a little bit different uh, because it's detecting the higher amount of memory. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is load up that 96 megabyte Neo Geo game again and see if it works properly. All right, so here we go. We've got Metal Slug 3 now running perfectly on the Mister through its FPGA replication of the original hardware. It looks and plays great, including all of the slowdown that you have on the original hardware, too. Uh, this game really did tax that hardware, and I never remembered it running this slow sometimes when I was in the arcade, but this is really how it ran. If you look at some uh, videos of this running on original hardware, you will see a very similar 
uh, experience to what I'm getting here, if not identical. But a really uh, great and accurate way to finally play the Neo Geo in a way that I think does the original console some justice here. It really looks great, plays great, and you don't have any of the button lag that you often experience with some of the emulation, especially that uh, Neo Geo mini console. Uh, the Mister will upconvert to 1080p, which it's doing right now, so it looks and plays great, and I think it's a really cool thing to be able to do this now through the use of an FPGA on this open source project. Really good stuff. Uh, so we're going to load up a different game now just to see if it works with something else. So we're going to hit uh, F12 here again and then load up a new ROM set. I've got Strikers 1945 that's going to load in now. Uh, these games do take a little bit more to load in versus some of the uh, 80s consoles that might be out there, but it seems to be working well. Uh, the one thing I'm running into with mine is that the uh, region here keeps switching to Europe, even though I'm using, I believe, USA ROMs. So you have to jump into this uh, Unibios that you install with uh, your other files for this core and you can easily get things up and running there but it looks like this is working pretty well too let's pick out a plane here and just do a quick uh, run through of a mission it seems to be working just fine I'll give you a better view of it here so it looks like all the games that are compatible will do well and actually most of them are uh, again you need to make sure you've got the right amount of memory on board to make it all happen uh, this core is still being worked on of course so you're going to see some updates to it uh, as time goes on here, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, there is a great uh, file included with all of the other stuff you'll download for the Neo Geo Core uh, that will give you an idea as to which games work with different memory capacities. Uh, so you can check and see if you only have the 32 meg right now, what you can run with that. Now, according to the project's GitHub page, you will be able to run about 84% of the full Neo Geo library with only that 32 megabyte module. So most of the games right now will work on the Mister, uh, but there are another 12% of the library that you'll pick up on the 64 meg module. And then if you want the full compatibility, the 128 will deliver an additional eight games, including the two that we just looked at. So I think uh, if you are going to upgrade your Mister, you may as well get the 128. I am sure other cores will begin taking advantage of the additional memory that uh, we have available to us now for more RAM for those classic computers, for example, and perhaps some other areas too. So it's definitely worth uh, investigating that. But I am really just impressed by the rapid development of this platform. A lot has happened over the last couple of months. And again, every time I uh, turn on my RSS feed that tracks all the changes on uh, the Mister project, there is always something new. Uh, there's been a lot of movement on the computer front as well. In fact, you can now have the Mister run an Apple IIe if you wanted to. So that might be something we'll explore in our uh, review of the computer capabilities of the Mister. But for now, I'm going to play a little bit more Neo Geo, I think, here, including uh, this game and many others that uh, you can get now running on your FPGA platform in a very accurate manner. So we'll be coming back to this, no doubt, in the very near future. Let me know what you thought down in the comments below and what you might want to see in a future video. And until next time, this is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Chris Allegretta, Tom Albrecht, Mike Talbert, Brian Parker, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.